And, um, you know, one of the things about back to school, it's starting to settle in now. Mm -hmm. um, mental health is absolutely huge for university students. When I read the statistics of how many university students are just troubled, get anxious, you know, exams are going to come up around the corner shortly, uh, you've got some great student guests. We certainly do, you know, and, and when you think about students in college and university, you know, there's often, you know, a feeling of nervousness, excitement, anticipation. You know, that newfound freedom, you know, they find themselves suddenly exposed to a variety of opinions from all walks of life. Now, most students have never been given the opportunity to hear about Jesus Christ and the life-changing message of the gospel. And uh, so uh, we're looking forward to hearing from our ne next two guests today because... In spite of what some may say, God's message is being heard in campuses right across the nation because of wonderful ministries like Power to Change and to those very passionate people, followers of Jesus, Graham Watt and Suzanne Rozalowski. Guys, welcome to the program. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Now, you've heard those things. Ah, you know, university, secular, we don't want to hear about religion. What are you finding, Suzanne? I find students are at different, different stages. Some are very interested, some are you know, just focused on their studies, but uh, there's many opportunities to uh, engage them wherever they're at. Do they have time, Graham, to actually, you, you know, to engage them? Because, I mean, a lot of international students, especially at our campuses across Canada. Yeah, students, in many ways, students have a lot of time available to them to think about the, the big questions of life and to ponder what the meaning of life is, where they're going in their life, what the direction of their life will be. Now, let's get into your story. Uh, both of you raised in Christian homes, and I, I also had a little bit of Christian uh, background as well. How about you, Suzanne? What was, uh, what's your story, and, and how was you know, university and, and hearing a message of Jesus and, and that changing your life? Yeah, so I, I was raised in a Christian home. I got a foundation of, of Christianity, but it wasn't a personal experience. It wasn't, I didn't have a relationship with Jesus. And so when I went away to university, I was asking some of those big questions and, and definitely feeling anxious. Um, Lorna was mentioning mental health. I just was really struggling. And uh, um, some, my sister was a Christian. She connected me with someone who's involved with Power to Change students. And she uh, pursued me, engaged with me, and uh, answered all of my my questions about Christianity. So. so so, when you talk about having a Christian foundation, what did that mean? Mom and dad were dragging you off to church Sunday morning? Yes. Although I don't think I was kicking and screaming. It just was something that I did, right? I was went, it like social maybe more than? Or? Uh, not really. It was, uh, there wasn't very many people my age, but it was just something as a family we did. I went to soccer on Saturday and I went to church on Sunday and it's just what we did. And uh, But it, it didn't have any sort of impact on my heart. Okay, so how was the gospel explained to you and, and why did it connect then where maybe it didn't connect in church? Uh, I think I was just ready. God, uh, God was pursuing me in a way that was translatable to me. Um, and yeah, I was ready to hear the message of the gospel and the spirit was working. And there was people available to, to share the gospel with me. Now you're at the University of Guelph and yeah. uh, some people befriended you. Is that still, do you think, the best way to do things? I think there's multiple ways. Um, now everybody's online, so you know that's a good point of uh, contact. At that time, when I was a student, it was, yeah, it was it was important to see someone face to face and do something that we were running together. We were just going, we were running partners, and uh, so it was sort of. Uh, an easy way to have conversation. Kind of natural, I think, yeah. yeah. Now, Graham, how about you? You went to the University of Alberta in my favorite city of Edmonton, that's where I live, but uh, great university. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but how about your story? How did, you know, you also had a church background and, and you, you said that it was really a clear presentation of the gospel. What, what do you mean by that? Sure, so, um, yeah, I was raised going to church on a semi-regular basis and my parents definitely wanted to teach me about God. But growing up, I... I didn't personally understand how God connected to my own life. And uh, in the year between my first and my second year of university, a friend of mine passed away actually. And it brought a lot of questions in my life about what is the meaning of life, what happens when someone dies, what's, what's going on, what's life all about? So career took a second seat at that point then? Well, it's just as, as, I, as, I, as it was in the summer. And so then when I attended university in the fall, um, people were surveying with all the different clubs and different activities on the campus. They were surveying and Power to Change was surveying me and they just asked me questions would you like to have a conversation a chat about Jesus and I actually checked that sure and so oh. I, uh, I got contacted and a couple of days later I met two, two people from Power to Change who I'm friends with to this day and they just sat down with me and they shared a simple gospel summary with me but at that point that didn't actually even make a lot of sense to me 
they also invited me to a, a small group where I could uh, kind of investigate who Christian, what more about the Christian faith and more about how Jesus can change your life. And I actually went to that for four months. And even that, though, wasn't actually sufficient to like fully like kind of help me um, decide to, to follow Christ personally and engage personally. They invited me to a conference. And um, at that conference, between Christmas and New Year's, it was in Calgary, actually, um, at that conference, the first night, it, all the things sort of kind of clicked together, the things I had been learning in the small group, the gospel summary that I had heard, sort of all the different questions that I've been wrestling with in my life about what's the meaning of life, how does, how does God fit into my life, and I actually invited Christ into my life at that conference. Did it make any kind of difference in your life? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's tremendously impacted my life Amen. ever since. Um, it's changed the, the trajectory of my life um, in so many ways. It's obviously, you know, I, I now serve with power to change. So my occupation is now trying to help others discover Jesus and, and embrace uh, uh, embrace following Jesus as their way of life. Are you typical, do you think, of the typical university students when you look back to what we have now and, you know, kids entering University of Guelph, University of Toronto, mm -hmm. Calgary, all over across the country? Or is it a different time, Suzanne? I'm not sure. Maybe Graham could answer that. Yeah. Do you, what, what are yeah. you seeing then, Graham? I think there's like large trends in society where people are asking questions. Like there's obviously, um, I'm not sure if I'm typical. I think people come from lots of different backgrounds, mm -hmm. different cultural backgrounds. People come from all different parts of the world to go to Canadian universities and they have questions. And I think um, that is typical to have questions in life. And, and so obviously Christianity has uh, some answers and some ways to uh, lead people to follow the, the God of the universe. Now you guys have a big conference coming up. Our Lorna Duick will be speaking there. Tell me about your conference. Yeah, it's, a, it's five days. Mm -hmm. Five day conference wow. over just past, just uh, after Christmas until New Year's. We celebrate New Year's together and we have lots of speakers, lots of talented people coming to speak and minister to our students and we have lots of fun and yeah, it's just a really good time to engage with the gospel and to be equipped for a lifetime ministry. Yeah, so you're doing what, Graham, seminars? Uh, yeah, I know there's yeah. mission opportunities, yeah, things like that. So the, there'll be over 90 workshops on a whole variety of different topics. There's lots of different main session speakers and then there's also Lots of different other organizations there to present different opportunities to students. There'll be about 40 different other organizations, seminaries, and different uh, opportunities for students to take action with their faith. Well, we've got the uh, information on the screen there. Thank you guys really for coming by. I love the, the light that you bring. And uh, I, it's good. I mean, I mean, I'd like to get into your conference, actually. You can come. Can you're you invite? Okay. You can come. <laughs> Absolutely. Welcome. I don't invited. know if my wife will let me go for New Year's, but uh, your anyway. Your daughter could come as well. Okay. Well, let's do it then. <laughs> anyway, thank you both, uh, Suzanne and Graham, and the power to change. Love your ministry and uh, keep up the great work. Thanks. Thank you.